was not a child soldier, keeping inside a rifle instead of a dog. It is only in recent years that the Atonists have become an open threat. After that, we all had to learn to shoot very quickly. I had a gift for it, and a voice that was heard, so... Here I am. In my life, we have made more travels than most can recall. into a woman across the western desert and its dunes and oasis are my home we go into the cities only when we must in places where the old religions are weak so are the atomist snakes it is good and my heart feels pride to see a new Egypt rising in these towers and minerals but uh, cities are no place for me too closed in, I have to say, uh, claustrophobic. I will always be a daughter of the desert, where the sand meets the sky, and our past meets our future. In the old stories, the Maria descended on the enemy and his deceased cult like a violent storm. Thousands, professional soldiers and paupers standing shoulder to shoulder. The new kingdom had never seen such a movement. This was so long ago, and the blood we had spilled dried in the sand and away. Then the Maria were a thousand men. Then hundreds. Then the hundreds. Now here we are, outnumbered by the atomists. But unlike those dogs, we cannot force the people to believe in our struggle. Stripping them of their will would go against all we hold valuable, against the name of the Maria. If this trouble was to spread as far inland as the Nile, then I think we would have no shortage of volunteers. But by then it would be too late. Before our people had writing, this land built temples standing to this day. Before you could farm, this land had raised vast armies. When your people trembled in the night of the moon or fire, this land bowed before beast-headed gods. I took in all these stories with my mother's milk. They weighed heavy heavy as stone, as if the Sphinx had pressed me under its forepaw. The Maria took up the burden of memory so Egypt can forget. When walls are uncovered in the deep sands, they should never know what those walls guarded against. We erase the enemy's one true name as punishment for the crimes of the Atonists. If we succeed here, Atten can be forgotten again. The Nameless One and his Nameless City deserves no place in my Egypt's history. You are a stranger behind the veil of Egypt. But I know about the world you come from. The three great orders of red, green, and blue. The wars and treacheries. Stories are well on. And with drink and the heat, Oxford University men are very talkative. Your people do not have a good reputation here, not since the Romans. Trade princes of Cairo, they say you are a common tomb robbers. They say this after they have taken your money and sold off our history. When the earth opened up to bring you in, though, I suspected it was a good omen. Honey bees had left Al Moriah for many months. Now they have come back. I hope their timing is not flawed. My friend, it is good to see you. You are late. A thousand apologies. 
But given the circumstances, I am sure you will forgive me. We are at war. Do not speak to me of war, Fatman. You are still late. So it appears. What is it we need to discuss? Our friendship. We have done many things for you. We have given you this village. The village is still not ours, and... This is your problem, not mine. You have received weapons and support. We have awakened your sleeping god. What have you done for us? What have we? The shipments have stopped. Your army has failed to defeat the enemy. They run free in the streets. We need more hands digging. Why do your people still resist? My people? They are not my people. The Maria are receiving help from the outside, and they are fighting back, both out there and inside the village. We need more support. You? Demand more favors from us? Uh, my friend, it is not a demand. But as long as the village remains free, we are unable to finish what we began. Like I said, your problem. Our problem. Yes, yes. And we have a plan. The Maria, they do not know about the tunnels beneath the village. We will use them to mount a surprise attack from the inside. Then why are we still having this conversation? Do not waste your time here. Godless heretic.
I find it curious that you have time for coffee when we are forced to wait on you. You know what it is like out there. What is out there is our doing. Do you have something for me? It is getting harder and harder to find new treasures. I think there is not much left. No! You will find more. This is why we are friends. This is why we help you. Because you give us this. If you stop giving us this, then we stop being friends. We become enemies. Do not threaten me! I am a prophet of Aten, and I demand respect! <laughs> you have yet to hear my friends, prophet of the Aten. There's a place to the north. You have not dug there yet, but others have. Englishmen. The university dig site, yes, I, I, I know of it. Uh, but even if there are treasures there, we do not have the people to... Do not have the people. <laughs> do not have the people? Then find the people. This is what you do for us to maintain our friendship. Do we have a problem? <sighs> It seems no. Look at me. No, no. There is no problem. <laughs> Good. Just in time. No, well, not, to be honest. We've been robbed. At gunpoint. Not usually a problem, given our expertise. They were many. And murderous. Uh, we felt, under the circumstances, that we had little choice but to abandon the artifacts in question. They are of the sort that should not be abandoned, or left in enemy hands. At any cost. Aside from our lives, obviously. Obviously. 